Hi, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to fix your IFB washing machine's L175 error code. But first, what does this error code mean? The L175 error code in an IFB washing machine typically denotes low input voltage. This is a localized problem resulting from insufficient power supply to the washing machine. The following are some of the common causes of this error code. A faulty power supply. IFB washing machines require a specific amount of electricity to work. A faulty power supply affects these levels and could result in the error code. Faulty machine wiring. The washing machine's internal wiring could be damaged. Common causes are short circuits caused by a faulty power supply or rodents. A faulty control board. Power surges and spikes could damage your machine's control board. This damage could result in this error. Now, let's look at the best solutions you can apply to fix the error. Check your power supply and reset your machine. The L175 error is a localized problem. As such, the easiest solution is to wait it out. Once the power supply stabilizes, the error will disappear. However, in some cases, you'll have to check your power supply and reset your machine. Here's how to check your home's power supply. Unplug your machine, grab a multimeter and set it to AC volts. Insert the terminals into the outlet. Check the readings and compare them to your machine's requirements. Reset your machine if the power supply reads normal but the air persists. Here's how. Press the power button to turn off the machine. Plug it out from the outlet. Wait one to two minutes and plug it back in. Press the power button until you hear the machine beep. If the air persists, call a technician. Fix damaged wires. You'll need a technician's help to fix damaged wires. Here's what to expect. The technician will unplug your machine and open the front and rear panels. They'll inspect the areas for damaged wires. If they find any, they'll replace them. While there, the technician may also perform routine maintenance on your washer. Once done, they'll test your machine before reassembly. Repair or replace the damaged control board. You may require a technician's help to replace or repair a control board. Here's what to expect. The technician will unplug your washing machine. They'll remove the top panel. They'll move the dispensing hoses before removing the control board. The technician will install the new control board and they'll reinstall it as well as the top panel. Once done, the technician will plug in the machine, power it on and test it. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Till next time.